Hey everybody, my expect the comics and I'm back. This time with a really cool flea market finds slash AOK -okay from my buddy Rayman the Silencer Man. If you want to see what books I got slash received from my buddy, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you stay on top of when I put out new content. So, um, like I said, I ended up going over the weekend, so it's a few, obviously a few days past now, but um, I went on Sunday to the Grafton Flea Market, and uh, it was the first time I went this season, and uh, I ended up meeting up with my buddy Rayman. So, um, you know, got there early. He was already there at 6 a.m. And uh, I showed up like maybe, you know, 20, 30 minutes after. And he had already grabbed a stack of books. <laughs> That's that was just like him to get the uh, early finds. And uh, so we, uh, he found me digging through some short boxes through uh, one of the uh, vendors that are usually there. And, you know, started digging, started digging. And uh, we found some cool books. And but before I get into that, I just wanted to uh, unbox this cool uh, package I've been waiting for. Trust me, we'll get right into the books. But uh, wanted to unbox this just because it came in the mail uh, yesterday, and I hadn't had a chance to unbox it. And uh, I had ordered this as well from my buddy Adrian Panda Awesome Three One Six. And this was a book I was not able to get when it um, first came out. And you know me, I love reading those horror titles. And um, because it was through a small publisher, I had a pretty good feeling that unless I pre-ordered, which I'm pretty bad when it comes to pre-ordering books, I always take the shot of just going to the LCS and hoping to get it. So I was not able to get it when it came out, but Adrian was able to pre-order it through uh, one of his Patreons, and he ended up picking up a copy himself. So um, he, uh, it's pretty cool. He actually uh, threw in a sticker in there as well. So uh, that was nice. Thanks, buddy. So I uh, ended up getting this book. I'll show you this real quick and then we'll get into this weekend's flea market. Sorry, I just deviated off track a little bit. But I was really excited when this came in. And uh, let me know if you guys picked this book up when it came out. So uh, this was great. This is the cover A from uh, Damian Connolly's You Promised Me Darkness. Issue number one. So I can't wait to read this book. Look how dark that thing is. That's cool. So let me know if you picked this book up. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll let you know what I think about it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it. But thanks, Adrian, again. So uh, do that quick little unboxing. So I'm going to show you first what books I picked up at the flea market. Like I said, this was at the Grafton Flea Market. And uh, then I'll show you the books that uh, that Rayman gave me. So I didn't pick up much. I think I probably spent only like seven dollars there. But it was more about just hanging out with Ray, doing some digging, and then just um, just talking for a little bit, you know. And uh, ended up seeing uh, Los there as well. We saw Los and uh, met his brother too for the first time. So that was cool. It was always nice to see. Uh, always nice to see Los. And uh, meet some more uh, local community members. So that was cool. So um, as for the books, I guess I only picked up what? One, two, three, four books. Five books. Sorry. Five books total. And uh, the first one was Invincible Iron Man. Issue number... Is this number 10? Yeah. Issue number 10. This is, I think, the first appearance of uh, Pepper Potts as Rescue. Not the first full, but just the first. It's like a brief appearance. This is a cool cover. Look at that nice needle there. He's looks like he's on a little ventilator there, a makeshift ventilator. <laughs> but uh, for a dollar, you can't you can't go wrong with that. 
Um, second one I picked up, and that was from the same vendor. This was, I, I, I think this was the first time he was there. I'd never seen this vendor there before. But um, he had like a bunch of dollar books. So um, picked this up because this is such a cool cover. I believe this is like the uh, Beyonce cover from one of her albums. This is America issue number two. So I picked that up for a dollar. This is going to go right back out into the community. So I've been slowly compiling some books up. Uh, I was really surprised to find this book. So I was looking, I always look through the uh, DC, like the Knight's Quest, the 90s books for the um, DC Universe labels. So whenever I, I, I feel like whenever I go there to that uh, Grafton Flea Market, I always find like one DC Universe label. So I don't have this one. This is the first time I got it. This is a cool cover as well. This is uh, Batman issue 507. So I picked this up for a dollar. Nice little pickup. You know, I mean, these books aren't worth much. It's just because it's, you know, of its DC Universe label that makes them just really hard to find. Um, I thought this was just a great, great cover. And this is DC Comics uh, Bombshells, issue number one. Has that nice, like, golden age feel to it. Uh, another book I picked up for, I believe this was a dollar. And um, just just a great looking golden age vibe to it. Really cool. Uh, this was the most I spent in the uh, flea market. And this was a, a whopping $3. And this is Bronze Age book, Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., issue number one. And uh, this is Jim Steranko artwork right here. So uh, first time I found this out in the wild, I had to pick this up. So that was my uh, nice cool pickup for the uh, flea market. And when I was walking around, uh, Ray was like, oh, do you have this book? Bloodshot issue number one. I was like, no, I have his first appearance, but I, I don't have this. This is, I believe, his first ongoing title. Um, and this is also one of those 90s uh, gimmick covers, the first uh, Chromium covers. So this is really cool. I did not have this in the PC. So he was like, oh, here, you can have it. <laughs> I was like, oh, thanks, Ray. <laughs> Uh, so that was the beginning of the uh, AOK. So uh, I was not, you know, expecting him to give me anything. So I, like I said, whenever I get anything from the community, I'm just like, I'm just like always in awe because because uh, it, it's just amazing, just amazing to see how uh, great, you know, the community is, how generous everyone is. It's it's just been a you know a blast hanging out and talking to the community over the past few years. Holy crap! He gave me a huge stack. This might this might this might take a while. So he was like, "Oh, you know, I didn't throw anything crazy in there." So uh, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little worried because because uh, because Ray always finds these crazy books. So uh, he, he probably throws some some uh, some nice stuff I've probably never even seen before. So uh, we'll get through this stack. And then we'll see how we're doing with time. Uh, I, I basically initiated the, the uh, conversation was like, oh, you know, I, I watched one of his recent um, Instagram, uh, I think, postings. And he had this cool Moon Knight, uh, I think it was Spectacular Spider-Man with the uh, Moon Knight featuring. And I said, oh, I've always wanted that book, but I hadn't found it in a while. So it's like, oh, don't worry. I'm going to I'm going to look through my collection and see what I have. And then I'll uh give you some books so I was not expecting these this many uh, books so uh, let's let's get on with this and see what he gave me so uh, first book oh nice Marvel superheroes spring special uh, featuring Moon Knight wow these are some cool characters you got Hercules Black Panther Brother Voodoo Magic and Speedball we're already starting off with a book I don't have so this is we're off to a great start and this is the 80 page nice so we got DC. All right, here we go. Thriller number one. Nice. Another book I don't have. I got a feeling a lot of these books I'm not going to have. <laughs> oh, and here's one of the books I was just talking about. This is the book I was talking about when I saw his posting. Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man number 23 uh, featuring uh, Moon Knight, of course. So uh, this was the book I was talking about, and then that's kind of how the uh, whole AOK initiated. <laughs> So this is cool. There we go. Oh, there we go. We're getting into the uh, second series of uh, Moon Knight. Mark Spector Moon Knight, issue number 33. This is uh, 
Guest appearing with the Hobgoblin. Nice. Very nice. Next book. Invaders number 25. So here we go. So we got some Bronze Age action here. Very nice. I, I, I love this Invaders run. This is a really nice run. All right. Next one. Oh, very cool. I do not have this uh, this issue. Moon Knight Saga issue number one. I believe this is a mini series. Um, this is really nice. Another another um, Moon Knight uh, series to start reading. Perfect. That's that's a nice little touch. Next book. West Coast Avengers. Here we go. I know this is another, another series that uh, Ray likes collecting. This is issue number thirty-two. You got Moon Knight here in the bottom. And if you weren't aware, Moon Knight was part of the West Coast Avengers. You see him right there. Cool. There you go. Another West Coast Avengers issue number 28. Nice little action cover. All right. Now here we go. West Coast Avengers number 29. Moon Knight fights alone. <laughs> Nice little, uh, son of a, looks like he's on a plane. Oh, yeah, they're fighting in the uh, on a plane. Very cool. All right, West Coast Avengers, issue number 24. Nice. We got Dominic's Rex up top. All right. Oh, nice little early uh, Dark Hawk featuring the Punisher. Very cool. There we go. Daredevil issue number 312, Into the Fire. Very cool. There we go. Uncanny X-Men issue number 281. It's a nice female cover there. Very nice. All right. Next book. Oh, here's What If. What If the Punisher... Oh, what if the Punisher's family hadn't been killed? Oh, it's going to be a good story to read. Nice. Next one. Oh, it looks like we might be getting onto a, a what if run. What if Captain Marvel had not died? Nice. Oh, there we go. What if Marvel superheroes had lost Atlantis attacks? Nice. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice cover. All right. Oh. This is a good read. I have read this one before. What if Craven the Hunter had killed Spider Man? Good read. Uh, let's see. What if Fantastic Four had lost a trial of Galactus? Nice. I have not read this one. Uh, what if Wolverine battled Weapon X? Cool. All right. All right. And uh, let's see. Night Thrasher for, con for Control, issue number three. Okay, and then the last book of this stack. Oh, nice. This is uh, Late Bronze Age. Ghost Rider, issue number 39. Get him my Suicide Squad. The Ghost Rider must die. This is cool. It's a nice cover. Yeah, this is early, real early direct edition. And you can tell here, if you watched my last video with the barcodes, how you can tell it's an early direct edition, the barcode is crossed off. And you have here at the top, the diamond shape. All right, so that wraps up the first stack. I'm gonna call this uh, part one of part two. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed part one as much as I did. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I wanna say thank you, Rayman, for the first part of the A-OK. -okay. I can't wait to open up the second part in the next video. All right, guys, until next time, Mark's the Comics, out.